Hello, everyone, and welcome to Why Battery Monitoring Monitors, monitors the World. That's a mouthful. Uh, my name is Sonia Hugnew, and I will be your host today. I wanted to go ahead and first start off by showing you a short little clip that just discusses the variety of products that we offer here at Predictive Technology. little bit of the diversity technology of our products. Yeah. So this short just talk about technology and over solutions for the company. Development here at Predictive on sales and marketing and really I love to get industry and my favorite part is really just helping customers. We love that and having a ability, being able to through the solution them help absolute favorite about this job. Thank you. Uh, we are a one of small business located in Omaha, Nebraska. We did two thousand three. This year we are actually celebrating our twentieth fifth anniversary. We are so excited to use my small business to achieve twenty years. We could not be happier. So we are definitely and but we are headquartered in Alaska, that's where we're based, but we actually uh, have reached globally. Most of our work in other parts of the country. So our team travels all the way to the for preventative and everything that we need to help our And in eight different countries, as a team, and just in the next few years, been working on projects even so we're going to give this uh for the countries we've been in uh in the next few so we do have a first question we have two arms to our we have our sales and team this uh Tim Wilson and our office 
of the things that we uh, created. Some of our backup files key. So our service team is actually going all over the country. It's an issue you have. So our service team, uh, they are actually certified security installers. All of the files are all of the battery monitoring solar systems that we offer. So they can install and maintain any of those in that area. Monitoring our services. Uh, we have battery monitoring since we have technology funded 20 years because we saw a market battery. We think a focus, you know, really battery ignored and really saw the need for them to take the page. So the company funded on that. Expanded into product lines and offers. As we saw the market expand and as the organization expanded, for battery battery monitors, uh, that have for cooling, all of the components that we can be a key partner. Uh, we do have best in class partnerships. So we've been again in many We never in your facility that you're promised we really want and that's just and you don't have to call your animals run instead. Other than that, the system to work for you. And you can work this the provider because class and All right, let's talk about other battery monitoring systems. So, battery system, in essence, it is a consisting of software monitoring the health and life of your battery. Again, that, uh, batteries are a very good component of people. I am at them. We don't know why, you know, we're smarter now than we used to be. We don't know that. Are a huge help in our facility, and with taking proper care of the batteries and doing the proper data, you're not going to know their health. They are a huge help to the facility. So, the battery monitoring connects your batteries and the health of every battery within your structure. It analyzes the battery, and if there is an issue with the uh, this is so you'll get an alert within the you could have pre written up even text to get alert. Hey, that's seven. This is working with it. That way, you, you can see the problem immediately. It runs events uh, and then it would be a lot of things that you could do with degrees that go and check and be abandoned. This system just makes sure that your battery is always on. And there's never a issue. Uh, yeah, again, you can correct it immediately. That's really the big benefit to battery monitoring. We we everything. We we look at our you know our reports for our meeting our. What's our usage? phone. If you have data that you can analyze, how are you going to be The best analogy I like to give is imagine yesterday, your coffee, your errands, everything. Today, you get in your car and well, what happens? Your battery is dead. A critical facility battery and a car battery are not that different as batteries. So, fine yesterday, but it's not today. And you have to get your battery changed. Get your car. But I told you, I get that. It's going to be a bit active with it. I'm going to be more active. And ensure that you don't have 
experience where you have a guitar in the garden. For that to be in your critical facility, the batteries are really critical pieces of equipment that you not because of the power. You know, the batteries don't work. That's for everything. I really like to see what battery monitoring are like because when you get a battery, the key are a lot of I do think sometimes they're a little less and thousands of organizations. The first thing talk about can you step up your battery. Anytime someone says, okay, well, let's so the same thing monitoring. with seal with the lead out battery, if you have a battery monitoring system battery, uh, or so, but if you have a monitoring system you can have your battery not replaced every five years, you can actually put it in place like seven years. You may be thinking is it's almost double the life. Yes. Now that on pieces, right? So if you're string a battery is the battery power of that, now that may be a sound that again, your monitoring system tells you that. If you have a string of batteries, put monitoring put on that battery that you can and again battery monitoring system education on the healthy Decide what's best for them. Let me to my next question. necessary Just think about it this way. If your policy says we're, we don't have a battery monitoring system, so we're replacing every four. But once you put that battery monitoring and it tells you, well, hey, we can actually get to six. Years of you know, fun where you extended the life of those batteries and not use them as, you know, over a couple of batteries. You're you're not replacing the rest of life of your batteries, which is a lot of money for your organization, simply because that's not giving you the information. Another reduce maintenance costs. But routine because if your battery monitor is going to your so your maintenance check is going to the software into the system as opposed to physically being a maintenance battery. Because battery monitor you can see what's going on and you're always asking what you're really it's important to have to perform. We still always recommend the on energy battery defense. Just it's necessary. We always recommend that best practice. Talking about reduced maintenance costs, let's look at safety, improved safety. Was your service team physically handling batteries to were they messing with the strings? Obviously there's an inherent level of risk that comes with that. And Really, with your battery monitoring system, checks is telling you, giving you the information. It's going to be much need for that physical check that you previously had. Again, it will be safer because you're utilizing the software hands on with the strings of battery. And this is doing something very healthy. Our team out in areas. They can troubleshoot a battery monitor and we'll make sure we can check something isn't happening. And this one that is just the one that this is the one that's not a battery failure. This is really what it's all about. Battery failure could be detrimental to a credit. So battery is like you talked about, a true point of failure that can occur in a facility. If you think about it, Know your batteries is you know monitoring is saying that everything is healthy, everything is fine. But it's failure. What is GPS? Okay, well you're performing GPS. You're keeping all care. You're doing 
Corporations are becoming more digital than ever, and they need to have that monitored and ensured 100% uptime. Hyperscalers, so we're talking about the, the Metas, the Amazons, 
the Googles, they have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of strings of batteries, just so many batteries. And they need to monitor those and they need to understand that those batteries are working correctly. Um, so again, the short answer, really every industry utilizes battery monitoring. But the one I wanna kind of focus on um, and talk about really why it's so critical and you'll help kind of understand that is first looking at utility. So utility companies, uh, they have to live by some special parameters. Battery monitoring is huge in the utility sector uh, for really a big reason is because it has to be. So utility companies actually have to abide by NERC compliance. And the official NERC code is the PRC005006. So again, I'm not gonna go into uh, the exact code. I'm not gonna read it to you, I promise. Uh, but just helping you understand what it is. And again, it'll help shed some light on what it does. So first, what is NERC? Uh, it's a fun acronym and I'm going to read it because it's very long. But it's the North American Electric Reliability Corporation. NERC for short, and it's a nonprofit corporation that creates safety standards that help reduce the strain and risk on our power grid. So on the other hand, they enforce the standards to ensure consistent reliability for our power grid. They just want to prevent having any blackouts and downtown. So you know, utility, you think water, electric, gas, the pipe, uh, utility pipelines, like these are all things that cannot go down. So NERC is there to really ensure that none of these things do go down if there is an, a power loss. So why does NERC exist? This is, you know, when I first learned this information, it was really uh, eye-opening to me that, you know, again, batteries and battery monitoring really run the world. They keep everything up and running so that we do not go down. So NERC was actually formed after the November 1965 Northeast blackout. Uh, those blackouts affected Ontario, uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New Hampshire. It's a pretty big area. And the blackouts caused significant infrastructure damage and resulted in 14 hours of complete power loss. 14 hours of, you think, traffic signals, lights in buildings, I mean, nothing. There was nothing. And to me, that's just such a long time. You know, sometimes cities will have hour, one hour, half hour, 10 minutes, or they'll have brownouts, which happen all the time. But 14 hours is a very long time. This power outage was very monumental because it actually resulted in 11 deaths. It was a very deadly power outage back in 1965. And the problem, the root cause of this blackout was actually a faulty relay on a string of batteries, which is a very common problem that can occur with batteries. But in this case, a common problem resulted in an uncommon and deadly situation. Um, so just as a no, you know, a, a faulty relay is something that can occur. It happens. And if you had a, a battery monitoring system, um, and if this facility would have had a battery monitoring system, uh, they, they would have been able to see that and they would have been able to correct the problem before this blackout occurred. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about really the big thing and I'm not gonna go into the whole code with NERC with you, but the biggest thing that NERC does is it requires battery backup for these utility companies. So battery backup is required for when there's a power loss so that normal functions and normal um, power can be provided. So um, if their backup equipment isn't running, it has to be backed up by battery if the line power isn't coming in. So the biggest thing that NERC is focused on is the service and maintenance of these batteries. So these batteries, they have very strict standards as to how often, how frequently, the types of checks, in person. Um, so it is actually uh, very in-depth the amount of in-person physical checks required through NERC for a string of batteries with a, in it, within a utility company. And the problem a lot of times that occurs is these utility posts or these small locations, they are all over, right? Like, so a utility company may be based in Omaha, Nebraska, but they may have hundreds of posts within hundreds of miles, right? So all of those small uh, sheds or posts, they're going to have batteries in them. And in order to fully check and maintain those batteries, 
have someone there in person doing that. And if they don't, then to help prevent that, they can have a compliant battery monitoring system. So if the utility company has a compliant battery monitoring system hooked up to these batteries, it does reduce the checks. It eliminates the physical in-person that needed to do those physical checks and reporting back. So for utility, uh, battery monitoring really isn't an optional piece of equipment. It, it is a necessary specifically to be NERC compliant. And you know, if you are a utility company or are working with a utility company and you're not sure about NERC compliance, what it is, uh, our team is set it further and discuss what it takes to be NERC compliant with a battery monitoring system. Um, we do have compliance systems. So if that is something that was needed, definitely provide that to you. So when you think about um, really why NERC was created uh, because of these blackouts, I mean, we've had blackouts that occurred in because of every issue. Because of that, batteries really power every facility has batteries. So to downtime, they're really there to help and ensure no really Just to uh, touch a little on telecom, I know we're running over a little bit. Um, oh, and sorry, if you wanted to download that last uh, white paper, you can simply uh, scan this QR code and we can also send it out when we send out the information. Uh, reach out to one of our team and we can get you a copy as well. So moving on to telecom, we have a simple white paper for this. It's a one sheet just outlining the benefits that battery has when it comes to this industry. So. Telecom with battery monitoring is similar to utility because they have small remote sites all over. It may be in non-staffed areas, 24-7 uh, operations, and 100% uptime required. With those kind of requirements, uh, battery monitoring is going to help ensure that their batteries, no matter where they're located, no matter how many there are, uh, no matter how remote the facility is that they're in, they can be monitored and you know that those batteries are functioning properly. An industry where we've really seen a lot of movement. So in the last 10 years, uh, we have really seen a push through uh, manufacturing to have uh, to have battery monitoring. And the real reason, if you think about it, um, and manufacturing has really gone to automation. So a lot of the um, on the floor production machines, um, a lot of the pieces and components, everything is automated. Well, with that automation means you have to have back end support, right? So, you know, when you think about uh, a production floor machine, that machine has a control panel. That control panel, if it loses line power, will stop the machine. So now that control panel needs to be backed up with power. So that control panel is backed up with the UPS and then the UPS has batteries. And then of course the batteries cannot be at risk. So we've really seen uh, manufacturing make a shift to they need all of their control panels, all the electrical pieces and all the automation needs to be backed up. So battery monitoring has really been a, a real kind of game changer for the manufacturing world in the last 10 years. So I know we've kind of covered a lot of information, uh, but really battery monitoring systems are there to help ensure 0% downtime, right? We always want to achieve time. Uh, it is there how we love removing cell points. So battery monitoring is really everywhere. It's helping everything. And it is an absolute necessary piece of equipment for any critical facility that has batteries in it. So I wanna thank you for joining us today. This is uh, one of our many webinars we host uh, every few months, put one out there. And if you have any questions, please reach out to a member of our team. Uh, if you have an application or a question on NERC or battery monitoring or have an application where you're just not sure, we're happy to design a build for you and talk about what would work for your facility because no facility is the same when it comes to battery monitoring. So if you have questions, please reach out to a member of our team. That is our phone number uh, and our email addresses as well. So we 
really appreciate your time today. And thank you so much for joining us.